Hello, we are live and I'm just going to uh, describe the navigational um, process for accessing your course in anatomy. And whether you're taking anatomy uh, and physiology online or hybrid, um, you will still need to be able to navigate very easily um, Falcon Online, which is associated with Daytona State College, as you know. Um, the software w embedded within the uh, website is quite simple and um, the course creation um, that I have uh, worked on uh, has been simplified with links right there for you so that you can go into virtual classroom. So let's begin our navigational journey. So when you log on for Falcon Online, so you can go to uh, daytonastate.edu, uh, log in with the username and password, and there's a section there, Falcon Online. Uh, that's what you want to uh, log into. Regarding deadlines, announcements, and things like that, I would probably um, recommend that you sign up for the Pulse app. I also recommend that you download Respondus Lockdown, which is a browser based um, type of program that I use uh, for virtual proctoring when you take major exams like the practical for the lab and uh, exams in lecture. Um, we will be using Microsoft Teams and there's a nice little tutorial on that thanks to the IT department at Daytona State College. Um, we will be using that simply for a uh, one-on-one -on -one, uh, office hour type of sessions if you need to speak to me uh, and have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Other than that, uh, we will be using Virtual Classroom. A little bit to tell you about Virtual Classroom. Um, in, in other words, it's a little bit complicated. It may not be seen on your iPhone, so I would say if you want to watch my recordings after I've been live, you really should not try to access it from your iPhone or any smartphone. You need to use the laptop. So when you get to uh, logging in, you're gonna see this home page right here. You're gonna see my announcements, okay? And sometimes, you know, you're going to see the direct link to each session, but I also embed that link within each week that we are meeting. Um, the link with the chapter and the title of the content will be there for you. Now, back to Virtual Classroom. When you log into Virtual Classroom, you must click on this tool section. Drop down box and you will see Virtual Classroom right here. Okay, now when, when you go to virtual classroom, you will see the past. Well, we haven't had any virtual classrooms yet, so you won't see any past. You'll see all of them in the present coming up. All right, my computer is a little bit slow right now. Uh, my whole point is that once I have the live session complete, there'll be a little hourglass symbol over here next to the actions and that just means that it's not ready to, for viewing yet and from my experience having taught three semesters now online with this virtual classroom platform within two hours you should be able to maybe one hour sometimes depending um, you should be able to watch the recording okay so for now um, our first session is the 25th. For those of you who are in my hybrid class, meeting uh, on ground, 2 p.m. Palm Coast, uh, Flagler Palm Coast campus, but our virtual asynchronous to complement what we cannot complete in one hour on the ground, we are meeting every single Monday at 5 p.m. And you could see all future uh, lectures, all of them. I set them up, it took me a long time, but I set all of this up way ahead of the course beginning. Um, so pretty much a couple of weeks ago before we started school. 
All right. So once we have our recording, it's going to be accessible within an hour or two after I finish the live. If you cannot attend the live now, if you go back and I'm going to show you so many people have been, despite the fact that I've, I think I pretty much told everyone in the announcements, um, as well as in contents that we will be, um, recording it. I'm still getting concerns about the grade. Now, although I encourage you to, uh, att uh excuse me, <coughs> attend live, um, I don't penalize you if you cannot attend every session, although I do encourage it simply because there's um, communication, there's interaction, and it is the closest thing to uh, the real thing of being on ground um, if you are completely online. Um, now, if you're watching the recordings, sometimes things don't, you know, really process very well and you have some questions, you can email me. So that works as well. Um, the whole point is uh, regarding attendance, um, I look at the activity level. All I have to do is go to class list and then I can see the last time you logged in. If I don't see any activity, that means you haven't even logged into my site to do any kind of work, okay? So uh, my whole point is, is please don't stress out over the fact that you cannot attend every single live session, especially since if we're a hybrid, that one I'm taking attendance each time you're coming in for the on ground. But with the hybrid, let's say we have that asynchronous uh, class that's uh, online. I, I pretty much schedule it based on all the courses that I'm teaching and I work around that around the synchronous teaching online, you see. So I cannot fault you if you're not ready to be there every single Monday because of the fact that that was not on the schedule when you signed up for school, okay? All right, so as I said, all my announcements are here. You can always go back to old announcements, all right? So my most previous, uh, my most uh, recent announcement was January 20th. And like I said, I did get a lot of emails on the concern about not being able to uh, always attend um, the live um, virtual classroom platform, okay? Um, and like I said, the interaction is quite important. Um, but if you're not there with me to ask me questions or ask you questions and we're dynamically interacting, um, you can watch the recording. Chances are most people will have similar kind of issues. And so when you hear other students asking me questions and you're watching the recorded, you'll probably say, wow, I had that question too. Now that clarifies things. Okay. If there's still some questions there, and you, you just, there's no answer to it, and you look things up, and you've uh, exhausted all the um, tools to figure out the answer, such as my PowerPoints, my handouts, my study guides, my YouTube videos, then obviously email me. When you are doing the recording, as well as when you are doing the live, whether you can't attend the live and do the recording, you need to absolutely take notes. That's the way you learn. So it's all about, like I mentioned in our um, icebreaker, um, to really make sure that you let me know what kind of um, learner are you? Are you auditory? Um, are you visual? Um, are you tactile, meaning hands-on tactile? So um, right now the hands-on tactile um, is not there, but the other two components are definitely there. And technically it can be tactile if you want it to be, <laughs> especially with anatomy, right? Um, you can actually purchase a skeleton from Target for $100. And um, I will, I found a site um, that can uh, show you various um, models that you can purchase uh, a lot cheaper than what we uh, have in our lab, which costs thousands of dollars. And um, our YouTubes that I have created um, to your benefit are going to really um, benefit the um, adjunct material 
alongside the handouts. So those uh, particular uh, videos are quite uh, visual as well as tactile on my part because I'm really showing you all the parts of the body that you need to know. And of course the auditory. Um, if you hear it enough times, you could watch that YouTube over and over again and you will learn it. Okay. So uh, enough said, I beat that to the ground. Um, so this was the first week. I just wanted you to get the lay of the land. Week one, you really didn't have to do that much other than um, signing and uploading the uh, student acknowledgement form, um, uploading in the assignment section your um, bio, or if it was in the, in the discussion section, upload your bio. And of course, do week one material, which was technically referring you to week two to prep for week two, which was uh, language of anatomy, body cavities, um, and understanding the use of the microscope in the lab. So make sure you go over that. Uh, make sure you go over the syllabus. Um, and so our next in the lecture section, um, our session will be all about the language of anatomy. And um, in lecture, we go over chemistry. In lab, we do not. So there are a few minor differences. But moving forward after that, everything's kind of synchronous in terms of topics uh, between lab and lecture. All right, so let's navigate now. I've been saying that for the last 10 minutes. But I wanted to make sure that you guys understand exactly what's going on. <coughs> So let's navigate to the content section and let's go to week one. So I'm going to go to week one. Hold on a second and I'm going to move this over here. I have to move my little image. All right, so here we are, week one. So in week one, you see that I've already, I do this every single week. I give you step-by-step, play-by-play, what you need to do for week one. And I also always, always put the dates. So this first week that uh, we had was Martin Luther King Day on Monday. So. I have Monday classes, so I don't want the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday classes to be ahead while the Monday class is behind. So I just didn't start. But that didn't mean that you didn't do any work. Hopefully you understood and navigated the course and understood that you should read ahead for week two material. Okay, and I just gave you the general information. So this is the hybrid uh, course shell. I know I also am teaching uh, the online course shell, which will differ slightly, but the template is still the same. All the information you need is right in here, okay? So um, for the hybrid class, you guys know, thank you for coming. You came in on Tuesday, two to three, um, and it was just basically a meet and greet. I didn't really lecture. Um, and so with the online people, um, we meet also Tuesdays, but it's going to be at 5. And then uh, my hybrid, as you know, the Tuesday at 2, we can't get everything done between 2 and 3. So we're going to meet uh, for lecture every Monday um, at uh, 5. Okay? All right. So uh, for week 2, what do you need to know? You need to make sure that over this weekend, which is today, <laughs> that you already have read chapter one. Make sure you have done language of anatomy, body planes, body cavities, organs, and organ systems. You need to know. Make sure you understand the grade breakdown from the syllabus and understand that you're going to have quizzes weekly in the lab, but in the lecture, it's more about reading and studying the PowerPoints and being ready for the lecture, the virtual lectures, the virtual classroom lectures. I provided you both the uh, lecture textbook and the lab manual for free as a PDF. Um, and I did that knowing that we're in the middle of a pandemic and that there are uh, a lot of hardships associated with that, including financial. People are 
uh, underemployed or not employed at all during this time, and, and some of you uh, do need to also go to work. So, um, and, and going to school costs a lot of money, so I felt that I should do this, and I hope that that helps you. All right, so um, I did not assign any kind of um, lab assignments from the manual, um, and I don't, I am not the type of professor that is going to uh, reward you points just for reading. I mean, you're a college student, this is what you should be doing anyway. All right, so um, check it out. Um, because we didn't have a virtual classroom, instead I had a discussion board for my hybrid. Um, for my online, uh, I will start the discussion next week. We had a, a little blip with the discussion and I put the same uh, meet and greet uh, icebreaker in the assignments folder. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. I took out honor lock just so you guys know. I really don't want to use honor lock. We're going to continue using as I did in the previous semester's um, respondus lockdown. All right. So here's week two for um, the lecture shell. And you can see here that I, I follow the same exact template, although I didn't write so much simply because I didn't have a lot to say. <laughs> All right, so week two, uh, I'm moving right into chemistry. Why am I doing that? Because in week two, I'm going to go over all of the material that was covered in lecture that you should have studied on your own due to Martin Luther King Day. I will go over all that material and then some. If you've watched my videos, the YouTube videos, you can clearly see that I've already lectured it. So I'm just going to review it in the lab. So therefore, week two, I'm going to just review language of anatomy because you should have studied language of anatomy. And I'm going to start on chemistry. So therefore, uh, there's a lot to cover. Um, for the virtual classroom and if you're in the hybrid for the Tuesday 2 to 3 p.m. All right, so so on and so forth. This is the lecture shell. If you look again over here, you can see each week I have the dates and the topics. And each week, as you can see, if you go to the top, Everything is there for you, and not only that, it tells you exactly because I took the time to open up the PDF for each week and figure out what page numbers should you be reading for that particular chapter. Okay, so um, this is a heavy-duty week, uh, week three. Uh, you got to read chapter three and four, pages one, uh, 74 to 136. Here's our virtual classroom session for the lecture. And of course, our uh, session on ground, if you are hybrid, where, we'll meet, where we will be meeting every Tuesday. And these are all the files. So I have two PDF files that you need to study before you even come to class. That needs to be done the weekend before we meet either online or on ground or both. All right, and here are my YouTubes. These are my own YouTubes that I've done over the past two years. Um, I may look a little different. Yes, uh, COVID-19 has aged me. <laughs> All right, so please watch these videos. Um, they are from fall 2019. So not that old, about a year and something. Okay, right before the pandemic hit. All right, so this is pretty much the lecture shell. Now I'm going to go to the lab shell. Oh, one more thing. I hate to go back, but I'm going to go back because I need to tell you one more thing in the lecture shell. I'm not, not going to show you the test or anything, but I'm just showing you from the teacher end that we have four exams in the lecture. That's all we need to do. It's 400 points. That's all you need to do in lecture. Will I have some bonus points? Absolutely. Those bonus points will be located in the assignments folder. And usually I take those links and put them within the contents 
All right, so here's the contents. What I do is if I do have an assignment, I link it and put it in the, in the module for that week that I want it done. All right, so right now, I don't even think I have anything, do I? Doubt I have anything. Oh, I do. Well, I just have the student acknowledgement form, um, but I do have a, a PowerPoint assignment that will be extra credit. You guys can't see it yet. That's what that cross eyeball means. I haven't shown it to you, but I will uh, tweak it and it will become visible um, if you think you're failing or if you need extra points to boost from a C to a B or a B to an A very important thing to do. The student PowerPoint is associated with a disease that you want to talk about. And it has to be within the organ systems that we're doing in anatomy for AMP1. So everything and anything up to nervous system, just look up the syllabus and you can see all the chapters we cover and pick an organ system and then pick a disease from that organ system. All right, now that's assignments. Here's uh, discussions. And you guys already know where discussions is. You should be able to see it. And I will have that as a forum. And you guys can actually talk to each other and do virtual um, tutoring sessions with each other. You know, just helping each other out if you have questions. You know, just start a new thread. Okay? And like I said, for the lecture, there's only four exams. Okay, and each of those four exams, you need to have that respondus locked down. Okay, so some of you will not be able to see all the exams, but I have them all here. There's four exams. And here's what happens. I have an optional final exam. Again, I don't, again, it's just bonus, and I really don't recommend that you take it. If you're already doing really well, there's no need to take it uh, because it might actually hurt your grade it's only if you're failing, it's a last ditch effort to get your uh, grade up. Okay, now I can go to the uh, lab section. So all of you that have um, signed up for AMP1 will notice that you have a lecture course shell which you need to log in every 24 hours minimum. Um, if you if you must know, I'm pretty much married to the computer um, or my iPhone. I'm always checking uh, the emails. I get alerts, uh, email alerts from you guys, and this is why I try to respond rather quickly. And I also get alerts if you guys upload it. So here's a new alert that somebody uploaded something for me. Okay, so um, please note that <clears throat> when you are taking anatomy, Here's my uh, online course shell for pure online people. So that's AMP1 online. And here's my AMP1 lecture shell for the hybrid. WE means it's a hybrid. So you guys, I meet you guys at 2 o'clock on Tuesdays. And then uh, Mondays, uh, what is it? Uh, AMP, yeah, AMP1 asynchronous Mondays at 5 p.m. I had to double check because I have about nine core shells here. All right, so please, 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 when you email me, I can't go through all this. You need to tell me which exact section you are. So, for example, I have, here's my classes that I'm teaching for the lab shells, and I'm going to open up one lab shell for all of you, whether you're the hybrid AMP1 or whether you're here the pure online AMP1. So here's what I'm teaching for AMP1. I've got three course shells for AMP1. So you can uh, either be registered for 301L, 302L, or 303L. Okay so if I look at my schedule here my um, 301L is uh, Tuesdays at 11 a.m. synchronous and online, meaning what does synchronous mean? It means that you registered for this and you knew ahead of time that it's always going to be at 11 o'clock. That's it. Pretend you're in a, a regular class on ground, but it's online. So we meet in virtual classroom at 11 o'clock. All right, so that's... Um, 
301L. Then we have um, the next one, uh, Tuesday is 303L. And um, 303L is from 7 p.m. to 9.50 p.m. I will try to get you out earlier than that. Um, if we don't take breaks, we can get out by 9. Okay, and then I have 302L right here, and that's on Thursdays at 2 o'clock. Now, mind you, I'm coming from DeLand teaching uh, human biology. So I may sometimes push it to 205 or 210 if I'm running late. I will uh, insta message you or create an announcement. Hopefully, I won't be late. Okay, um, let's open up a shell. Shall we? So if we look at the course shell, I'm just waiting. It's a little slow. Here we go. Um, you'll see, as always, just like in the lecture format, you have the announcements as soon as you log in. Here's, as always, my bio. Um, and if you scroll down, it's always like, like I said, register for the Pulse app, but you can also find the calendar here. Okay, now let's move over to contents. <clears throat> so in contents, nothing's changed each week. We have, uh, as you can see, week one, we had no labs, no virtual uh, classroom link is there. Why? Because it's Martin Luther King Day last week, right? We, so I didn't want um, any of the labs, like my Monday night, uh, fall behind. If my Tuesday and Thursday would be ahead, that wouldn't be fair. Okay, so here's my welcoming video. And <clears throat> that's pretty much what I have here. Not much stuff going on in here. Now, if you go to, oh, I'm in my AMP too. Holy moly, never mind. I was wondering why I saw endocrine. Give me one second. Let's go to an AMP1 lab section. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. All right, let's pick 301L. Um, so if you're in 301L, that's Monday nights at 7 p.m. All my course shells look the same. So you'll get used to my look. Every professor has their own we have academic freedom. Generally, I have a very nice, uh, clean course shell that should be easy to navigate, I hope. Um, there is some requirement to have some computer skill to be able to navigate. You have to. You have to be able to know how to open links, copy, paste things, you know, stuff like that. All right. So as you can see, here's my welcoming announcement. Here's my welcoming video. And again, um, I have always, a, I don't know what it is. Each semester, I have challenges with students not understanding the grade scale. And even this semester, even after I break it down for you here, I still have questions about it. But here, it's really not hard. For the lecture, we just have four exams. That is it, nothing else, all right? Unless you're failing, you don't need to take that optional final exam. And uh, unless you want to go from a B to an A or you want to boost from a B minus to a B plus, whatever, do that extra credit PowerPoint. It's, it's great. It's wonderful. It's a great experience. But the lab is where a lot of the hands-on work is done. You've got 10 quizzes, which means that every single week you're going to have a quiz at the end of the week. Week 8, you're going to have a midterm, and at the end of the semester, week 15 or 16, I believe, is the final practical, and all that is adding up to 300 points. You will, of course, have an opportunity for maybe 10 or 20 extra points to add as bonus points, but never will I have the denominator greater than 700, although 
Falcon Online is going to just add it all up and it'll be over seven. You see what I'm saying? It'll be over 300 in the lab course, in the lab shell. But I'm going to lower that number and keep it at 300, even if like there's bonus points, right? The number is going to increase to 350 or 320 or 310, whatever it is. Your bonus points are your bonus points, and that's on the numerator. And your denominator is 300 points, okay? So that's how you, uh, that's how you uh, gr grade, you get your final grade by adding up what you made in lecture. So let's say out of 400 points, you made 375. Great. Now add that 375 to say 275 out of 300. So 375 plus 275 divided by 700. How 700? Because 300 for the lab and 400 for the lecture. Capish? That's it. It's really not that bad. So I'm hoping that this semester I will not get like 100 emails asking me I don't understand what my grade is. It's, it's, you, you can figure it out before you even go into the final. And I want you to do that, and I will help you if you can't do it. It's really very simple math. But I want you to know what you need to get going into the final. Absolutely. You need to know what you want to get to get the A, to, the, to get to the B or the C um, for your final lab practical, okay? Again, I don't need you to take that um, optional lecture exam unless you absolutely need to. All right, now let's take a look at the content section, shall we? And here we will notice, as before in the lecture, that I have a very set, I am a creature of habit. Each week has the dates there and the topic. Each week I will tell you what chapters to read in the Martin Lab manual, which I gave to you for free. Study and master all PDF files and links provided. And I always will say that. What does that even mean? Well, you need to know what you don't know and you need to know how to study. Those are the key elements to uh, being successful in this course. So listening to uh, the virtual classroom over and over again, listening and looking and studying and taking notes from the YouTube videos, because I will tell you right now, I extract questions on the exams from my own YouTube videos. Because if I hear myself talking, I'll be like, yep, I did mention this. If I mentioned it, I can ask it, okay? I, I just, that's what I want. All right. And each and every single week, you will take a quiz on Thursdays between 8 a.m. and 1130. Okay. Each, each week, <coughs> excuse me, you have a session link here. Each week, I say the same thing because I always get each week and every single day an email going, Oh my God, what do I do? I missed, I missed the virtual classroom. It's fine. Don't panic. No stress. No harm, no foul. I want you to be there if you can. If you can't, oh well, it's being recorded. All right. Um, my attendance record is, like I said, has to do with, are you logging in every 24 hours? That's the minimum that, minimum that I ask from you. Because if you are not logging in every 24 hours looking at my announcements, you're not keeping up with the material. It's, this, is, this is serious stuff. Anatomy is very um, labor intensive, very um, focused energy. It, you cannot let guard. You need to keep going and push yourself. And I will push you. I am your coach. I will be the guide by the side pushing you to your limit and reaching your goal because it's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be a challenge. If it was easy, then everybody would be a doctor or a nurse. All right. So like I said, I highly recommend that you attend the live, but if you cannot, that's fine. Um, you can always go back. I will always record it. Okay. Now, a little thing or two here I mentioned about the camera. You could turn on the camera if you, uh, if I ask you to. 
um, or like we're just having fun and showing our pets. But during the time, um, for some reason, it's just um, it it slows down the feed, and then I have a hard time uh, presenting my um, PowerPoint, which is a PDF file. Um, if too many cameras are on. So pretty much I ask that I don't need to see your face. I need to hear, I need to make sure that you're listening. So um, mute your mic and chat text me. And then if you want to speak to me, unmute yourself and ask me a question. Okay. It's all there for you. Here are all the PDF files. You're going to have a lot more material, a lot more material than in lecture to study from. Now, don't panic. Um, you're going to see some old exercises in some of these handouts. I did not want to get rid of them. These handouts were from pre-pandemic with lab exercises that we used to do from a book that we no longer use. Okay? So ignore that, please. Um, so, but I kept all the PDF files because I think they're very useful. All right. Um, the videos, very, very useful. And then at the end of the week, you have to take the quiz. You only have one day. Now, what happens if you're sick that day? Just email me, tell me that you're sick. What we do is at the end of the semester, um, you will be allowed to make up one quiz. That's it. All right, so again, don't forget, this is the lab. So every single week, you will have a quiz. So here's week four. What we do at week four, we go to week four, same thing. We read what it says here at the top, what you're supposed to be reading. Let's take a look. Hold on, I'm trying to move my little thumbnail here. Okay, see? So, read and study chapters 8, 9, 10, 11. This is a hefty, hefty week. Study and master all PDF files, links, and images provided below. Yes, I do show images. Take quiz 3 and 4 on Thursday to 11. So, this is the only week where we have two quizzes, and I had no choice. This is because of Martin Luther King Day. There's no way. I, I, had, to, I had to cram it in there somewhere. So, the suffering is week 4. Um, week five, it, we start bone. Week, week six, we start the skeletal system. Week seven, we finish the skeletal system. Um, here in between week seven and week eight is the academic support center review guides and presentations. I will uh, definitely recommend that you do the academic support center virtually and take the mock practical. It is a pretend lab practical that will help you understand how you take the test before you actually take the test with me. So week eight, you will take the test. Week eight is when you have your first lab practical, the midterm lab practical, and then you have a final lab practical. It will be 100 questions. Read the questions carefully. Make sure you know all the images. The images are drawn from my YouTubes with the models, the lab models. So obviously study my YouTubes. All right. Again, I gave you in this list here all my videos up to the midterm. Okay. Look how many videos I did just from the beginning to the midterm. These are all the videos on what you need to know for the practical. Then you go on spring break week nine. And I tell you, no letting up. What did I tell you about anatomy? It's labor intensive. You got to push yourself, no breaks. Um, I'll let you take a day off, but you need to start studying week 10 because as soon as you get into week 10, week 11, week 12, it's three weeks of muscle. And muscle, I think, is just as hard as understanding the bony landmarks of a skeletal system. All right. And then towards the end of the course, Here's where we end. Week 15 is our last lesson, which is special senses where we learn about the eye and the ear. Session 13 is our last session. All right. And you have to take uh, the eye and the ear quiz. That's 20 questions, April 29th. Okay. And then check it out. Literally the next week, week 16, I'm going to do a final review. Um, here it is, week 16, 
is going to be session 14, and I'm going to recap everything from week 8 joint, joint articulation all the way through special senses, eye and ear. And then, boom, Cinco de Mayo. All right, hopefully you don't Cinco and you go up. <laughs> uh, so Cinco de Mayo is an important date because that's your final uh, lab practical. All right, and um, same as the lecture, you um, can look at the assignment section, which I embed within the weekly modules for any assignments. I don't have any assignments yet. I may in the future, and it'll, it will obviously be extra credit. Um, discussions for the lab, um, I'm going to add some in there later. Um, and it won't be for points. It'll be mainly for you guys to discuss amongst each other. So icebreaker, I did the first one, icebreaker, uh, muddy moments. Um, you have to post first before um, you can see anything there. All right. And same as before in lecture, we will have the quizzes. But obviously, you can see that they're embedded within the content section, the quizzes and the exams. But all of my quizzes um, are going to be on a Thursday, all right? And I do not do respondus lockdown. I do not. It's just a quiz. It's a low stakes. It's 10 points. Every single quiz you have is going to be 10 points, all right? So there will be 10 quizzes, okay? Um, a midterm practical and a final practical. And that's pretty much it, all right? And don't forget, you've got the tools here to go to um, virtual classroom if you want to go that way instead of, phys you know, going through the contents for that week, looking up the date and uh, getting the link from there. So you can do it this way, go into tools, virtual classroom, or let's go to the contents. And if you know what week you're in, all right, so we're entering week two. Then, of course, we're going to go into week two. So let's go over to week two and right there. And today is Saturday. So if I was a student right now, here's what I would be doing. Um, I would be, first of all, making sure that I've read uh, and studied chapter two and four in the Martin Lab book. And I will probably have made sure that I downloaded these PowerPoints and PDF files. And on top of that, watched the videos if I had time. Now, if you run out of time, you need to watch the videos no matter what after the, the lesson. If you have time, Saturday and Sunday, watch the video. Come to class, virtual class online at the scheduled time. So for this, this is our online class. Okay, um, so therefore we meet Tuesdays at 11 a.m. synchronous online. This is our lab, and boom, um, you'll get everything you need to know. We're going to review all this material, and then Thursday's the last, the, the beginning and the end. So Thursday is January 28th, and it opens up at 8 a.m., and it closes at 11.30. So you have between today, Saturday, and, and Thursday morning to, to study all this material in week two. So hopefully if you're listening to this right now and you're not panicking, um, you're going to finish watching this video and go get to work right away. All right. So if um, you have any further questions with navigating this course, uh, feel free to email me. Um, and if you still feel uh, uncomfortable, uh, we can uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one session. Um, if you have technical difficulties, see this help button right here, okay? Look at the drop-down box. You can go and fish for the information uh, by yourself, Falcon Online Help. You can get a generalized info guide. You can get 24-hour help from the help desk chat now. I used it for the first time this week. It was awesome. Or you could send in a ticket uh, with tech help. And here's the academic support center. Um, I have um, 
two people that are specialists and they do have access to my course so they know exactly what I am teaching you and they will provide the uh, mock online uh, midterm and lab practical. You will not take it in my course shell. You will take it in the academic support center course shell. That's where you just have to tell them, hey, I want access to that and I want to be able to take my mock practical for anatomy. Okay. And if you're going to do that PowerPoint on a disease, there's your library. Um, counseling, accessibility service, 